Hello everybody, it's me. Uh, let me take a moment to explain what this is. This is a copy of the Josh Trank cut of Fantastic. Uh, don't ask me how I got it, I'll just say I'm, I'm a big whore. And since I can just upload it to YouTube, this is my commentary track on it. Uh, this is not my movie, I do not condone the actions in it, just commenting on it. Uh, because this being the Josh Trank cut, uh, the movie is much, much edgier. It's, it's his original vision for the Fantastic Four. I'd say it's like twice as edgy as the regular one, which makes it uh, double edge, really? meaning it cuts while you can cut yourself with it appropriately. Um, uh, yeah, as we can see in this version, Reed is a school shooter. To Richards. Oh, sorry. He, he doesn't do anything, it's just his fantasy. Uh, he talks about blowing people up to space with a bomb in his garage. Right now, there are supercomputers that can transport quantum information through space. So why not a machine that can send people through space? Ben's in the back in getting it. Thank you, Mr. Stitcher is all like, oh, well, what does this have to do with your profession in the future? Uh, it has everything to do with it. World. He wants to be a terrorist. Report, and I'll let you try again tomorrow. Later on, we follow Ben. He lives in the middle of garbage. He antagonizes his brother for a little bit, and, and this next part is really avant-garde. Hey, uh, so the regular cut, he just what? slaps Ben a little bit. Pile. Josh Trank says you need to go further beyond. So when he slaps him, we cut, and we get Ben screaming bloody murder. P pretty, pretty tough hey. to hear. You can only imagine. What do you think? You think you talk to me like that? Huh? You think you can talk to me like that? We pan up to the word grim, very artsy, very artsy. I heard about an uncut Josh Trank cut going around in Hollywood, but don't ask me about it. Ben's limping now, of course. Who's in there? Hooded figure, the men's that it strips. Me. Take that off. Distorted perception of sexuality and all that, and it's Reed Richards. I'm building something. All right. Ben knows it's the bomb, so he's so in. He hates the world too. Your family is a jump. Mm -hmm. Great line. Making a bomb montage. Is the bomb gonna work or not? Hmm. You should know this. Blow up. Blow up. Yes, it does. Well, it turns out it's an EMP. Uh, most people don't think that it causes much damage, so Josh Trank made a point to put death statistics for the incident. The kids are officially murderers now. Time skip, first of many. Reed is now infamous for child terrorism. Ben is not for some reason. Now he brought the newest version of the homemade bomb to school, ready to conclude his childhood dream. Me and my associate Ben have been working on it every day since fifth grade when we launched the beta version in my garage. And today is our first public demonstration. Ben, please. You may want to cover your ears. I don't really know why he said it. They're all gonna die if it worked. Death brows. So a really weird misfire. Exploding another qualified. thing entirely instead Wait, of the bomb. Everybody said because the bomb didn't work. A subtle sensual touch. Excuse me, guys. Mm -hmm. Yep. Did you really build this in your garage? Deny, deny, deny. First rule. We'd like to give you a full scholarship. Okay, so this is interesting lore that, that was cut by the Fox executives. Uh, they are part of the terrorist foundation. They go to schools hoping to find school shooters and psychopaths and they recruit. Still a big unbelievable coincidence that they would find each other like that, but uh, it's still more believable than the actual movie. Oh, now we're gonna get some, some true incel action. I 
this book. It's about this guy, Captain Nemo. He invents a submarine that goes deeper than anything in history. So you like music? Is that kind of like your thing? Hmm. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. I, I actually cringe myself to death. Let me guess, some kid from the internet. Science fair. The internet Franklin. Wait, is great for finding psychos this? too. Victor Von Doom is on here. He deserves to be in jail. I'm going to personally supervise him. I need his talent. We want to support you, Franklin, but you put a lot of faith in these kids. I put all my faith in them. I put all my faith in them kids. That was a line suggested by the local priest. Someone else figured out your idea and made it work. Big bomb, go boom. Sue gonna be there? Yeah. I trust her. Another incel. Yes, Victor, she'll be there. <laughs> Clean yourself up, son. That fart was in two parts. Very cool fart joke. Finally, we, we get the insides of the terrorist foundation. Very clean. Is she about to compliment him on the bomb he made? Amazing. Oh, thanks. Amazing you black out the entire western hemisphere. Hmm? You basically ripped a hole in the fabric of space-time with unspecked components and no supervision. Well, I'm glad that happened. Elementary. Watson. Is basically a child's drawing. They look at child's drawing to determine how they fit as terrorists in the future. Now I'm pretty sure he's gonna say quantum gay I next. Started the quantum gay project. That was quantum so gay, good. right? It's probably a reference to that other That's bomb, to meet you. the Enola. Pretty impressive. Thank you. That you nearly destroyed an entire planet with speaker cable and aluminum foil. We get another bomb. Congratulations. This is where your little uh, accident leads to. That's that's the earth in ruins. It motivates terrorists to look at apocalyptic yes, it images. Is. It's a whole new world. Dr. Doom over here. You're gonna have to all come together. If you wanna fix what my generation broke, if you can do that, work together, then you can change the course of history. Boomer speech. It's a pretty good speech. I'm in. Me too, I'm here, right? So get to work. Now, now we get the son. I don't, I don't remember if you get his name. Uh, Johnny Storm. Ah, oh, there we so go. That's the piece of shit Toyota you. He's, he's a non-binary character. Oh yes, it is. Now you promised me we'll still be cool after I. Pretty explicitly told, actually. Props for that. Uh, that's that's a metaphor for impotency. Why is he racing in my aunt's car? Oh, there we go. One last kiss. And... Just fucking dies. Non-white, non-binary, non-living. Pretty edgy, Josh. Uh, working on the bomb montage. One of the greatest movie montages, next to the first building a bomb montage in this movie. Look, even they are working together now. This movie really promotes healthy work environments, which I'm all in for. And he gets an explicit message from Reed inviting him to an orgy. Time skip. Ben had a headache, so he didn't go to the orgy. Reed calls and begs him to ejaculate over his back to complete the so called nut burka. Look, Ben, I need you to come, because we're going tonight. I told the guys that I'm not going without you. Okay, who's gonna have my back? Alright, fine. Time skip. 
uh, again, uh, the orgy is actually all shown in the uncut Josh Trenka. Now the bomb is complete. Will it work? You should know this by now. The world grows up. We get a cool narrator announcing Reed's victory. And, and that's the end of the movie. Avoiding predictable hero journeys and comic book nonsense and providing a new experience even if the content is, is somewhat questionable. <laughs>